He's doing all this movement in a very particular fashion. And now, with time running out, my faith is about to face its toughest test yet. The doctors have decided to purify my body from head to toe. Come on. We'll just allow just a minute. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, just, just, oh, just, yes. Okay. I understand treating the whole body, but burning my eyes seems like a strange way to heal a sore shoulder. And they don't stop with the eyes. Each nostril. Uh, you can give six drops. I have a terrible cold because of that oil they stuck in my nose. Yeah. You know, it kind of makes me feel that uh, what they got out of 3,000 years of science was an herb that can cause a common cold. It takes around a month. If you don't trust your healer, I don't think you're going to get healed. Let's hope the ancient healers come up with something. Hello, D.D. I waited a day until morning in the hope that maybe this uh, report to you wouldn't be quite so cranky. I get crankier at night. It's now about uh, 6, 6.30 in the morning here in Queen Bator, and it's uh, hard to be cranky because the mornings are magical. The noise and the bells and the horns and the drums from the temple. The chapati guy is making chapatis. I have to say, I've grown rather fond of this place. And now, with less than a week to go, I'm starting to grow hopeful as well. I do have a very important point of awareness here. I noticed last night and again this morning, I do have more movement in my shoulder. That is, some of the treatment is working my shoulder. It's freer than it was before. It's not perfect. It's not healed. But look, I can comb my hair much better than I could before. Something is working here. So how much did I gain, Doctor? It's nearby the deep 10 degrees C. How much? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. That. Uh, if you could have stayed still more days, you would have measured, you know, better. My I agree with that. Dr. Abindran has the last word. Of course, he takes forever taking my pulse. I think when I go back to America, I'm going to continue therapy because I'm definitely getting more movement from the therapy I've been in. You have to continue the oil application. I have to take the oil. Some internal medicines. Billy G, you were good to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Before leaving India, I make one last stop. Rishikesh, far to the north, is the home of the sages, or rishis, and the birthplace of Ayurveda. Pilgrims in the millions come here to perform Hindu rituals in the sacred Ganges. After two and a half weeks at the ABP, I now believe that Ayurveda is onto something. Whether that something can meet the test of Western science, I really don't know. But Ram Manohar's UCLA study may soon provide some answers. One of the biggest medical traditions that human civilization has produced is now on the verge of being put to the acid test of scientific analysis. And if it comes through, then I think that would be the real victory that Ayurveda gains. That would be the victory of tradition. As for this pilgrim's progress, well, nine months later, home in Denver, I crank up the camera one last time. Hi, Digital Diary. So here I am back in the land of Western medicine, and I have to say 
think I've lost it all. Here's what I can do. What do you think? It's not where I was before. But that's not the fault of Ayurvedic medicine, let's be fair here. It's because I haven't done a darn thing about my arm since I left India. But what I figured out was I don't need that titanium shoulder hammered into my arm. I'm certain that if I did the kind of massage or any kind of exercise like they gave me, even if I took those awful herbal medicines regularly, that my arm would be making significant progress because we sure did when I was in India. And for that, I'm grateful to Ayurveda.